some of you here might be married, some of you might be engaged, some of you are in serious relationships, some of you are dating people who don't know you are dating you. It's all right. It happens. You're going to get to the point where you wake up and then suddenly this man has found a white flower. How do they say? Is it white goat these days? A white flower uh, that ran into your father's compound and they've come to pluck it. The unfortunate thing is that a lot of people, young women, as they pluck that flower, they pluck your whole life. They plucked you out of what you wanted to do. They plucked you out of your focus. Because for the first few months in marriage now, you first when you're in that honeymoon phase, everything is, oh guys, my husband and I today. And then by the time you get out of that phase, you're like, okay, now that we, the dust has settled, where do we move from here? And so if you, if you don't know what you want to do, here's what will happen. You start trying to discover yourself in marriage and it's not going to be easy if you don't have someone who is supportive. That's why I started by supportive system. When you have that support system, even as friends, you can be able to recognize people who are a support system to you when it comes to romantic relationships. You can tell, you can identify red flags because you already have a degree in identifying red flags from friendships. Are you with me? Because you see those little, little, you see red and it will be looking like a little bit of indigo. It's not that red, a little orange red, but I mean, nothing bleach cannot do. Uh, please, oh. You see those little, little things? You're beginning to see them now in, in your relationship, but you're thinking it's romance. You want to go for something, and must you go? Are you the only person? Oh, I want to go for this medical conference. And they send another person. And you're thinking, oh, he likes me around. Uh. <laughs> All right. Get ready to be around. You will be around. Very much. I just came back from a fellowship, right? I was in the US for eight weeks. Eight weeks and I have a one-year-old son. Now, imagine I married a red flag. Are you the first? Uh -huh. Okay, so those people that are telling you to come to America now, they don't know you're married. They don't know you have a son. Oh, so you will just wake up, pack your bag and go. Cap for yourself. And what would you do? You now be caught between, you now go on Joro. You guys, man. You know, go, dear jo dearest Joro, please help me, I need your help. I don't want that for you. 